through the trials problems in the earlier you come back the easier you can handle your problem the more you are kept aside blaming each other the problem becomes more and more so god never takes time immediately he brings the rope animal skin and covers them and keeps them together love love my dear friends we read in the book of first samuel god loved david and he gave him a wonderful anointing in chapter 17 we read to kill even goliath and to become famous god anointed him to be the king of israel but he fell in love with a girl the king's daughter there are three things for which man lives on this earth there are a group of people they try to establish themselves and on the process they lose love they want to show to themselves that i am great i am right the wife yells at the husband and says you are wrong the wife the husband gets angry even he slaps her to tell her that he is right how dare she is but they don't understand at the end of the day you may prove to the world that you are right but what is the use you will lose the another you can prove to the world you are right but if you lose the another life has no meaning it is only love as we read in first corinthian chapter 13 verse 10 love bears all things love forgives all things yes love accepts the things as they are in the next class we will reflect on how the relationship has to be built when the relationship are strained how we have to handle it next class we will have it now how the love has to be the base of our life yes and he wanted by all means that girl so he becomes inhuman the king saul says you want my daughter you want my daughter because he wanted only the position i have to be great i have to be son in law of the king a kind of madness at times sits on our head and we use people to get things to reach our heights but human beings are not things to be used a man a wonderful man working in a very big firm was married to a girl from the village the man was trying to explain to the parents i am educated you are bringing this girl the parents are keep quiet she is your uncle's daughter and they are giving 4 crores of rupees the whole village property is being me ask what nonsense you are doing get married they got married but he could not love her due to various reason when all of them took their wives for parties they sent that meetings this man could not take his wife he was dying inside the woman experienced that she went away from home she went to the village she took another guy went away two families were broken many of the times we don't give we don't understand the hearts we want to have a positions in life we want to achieve something we want to be proved to the world that we are right there a group of people are moving like that i want to be great that's what david he said by all means i want to be that son in law of the king family is not meant to for that to achieve pride your ego when people move with the ego 
the family dies chapter 8 verse 1 says knowledge puffs up while love builds knowledge puffs up shows you are big 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 you are big you got to be big no with the knowledge in the absence of love it only puffs up it gives you wrong image as though you are great a kind of ego but only love builds in the absence of love king gets married to that girl and the girl now begins to dictate him david brings the lords and dances before that the wife says what stupid you are when you are you are dancing can a king dance like this and your dresses are becoming like this stupid you are when king saul comes to kill david the wife says if i don't push you off my father will kill me so she opens the windows pushes david that is the end of that marriage she went back to her father and he never got back got her back they had money they had position they had power she is the daughter of the king so what he is the man who killed goliath so i am wife of such a great man but they had no time to love to care to support to stand with and that family broke where there is no love the family cannot proceed you may have money you may have position you may have everything but where there is no love the family will break and lose its power and glory in the absence of love hatred anger and destruction he is a servant of god yes but he never take and care whether his heart is filled with love he was working for god we can work for god we can have our rosaries we can have our prayers we can go for mass we can go to velangani we can do many things actions of devotion is different from we have to come to realize what my anger what my attitudes what my thinking leading me to that's why the book of proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 says more than anything be in touch with your heart be in touch with the thoughts of your heart where why what are the feelings and emotions that are found in your heart you are upset immediately you have to be alert children of god are alert if you are not alert the enemy will come in yes in the absence of light you need not invite the darkness automatically darkness will come in the absence of love automatically hatred will come revenge will come so as a christian what we need to do there are a group of people who are constantly moving to establish themselves show up themselves that is one group on the other hand another group is going on life means enjoying wasting eating drinking moving around but for us christians life means laying down our life for a cause for a purpose first john chapter 3 verse 16 yes he laid down his life for us and god has given us a call which we call it love what is that love means we lay down our life for our brother and means to whomever god has given a wife to the husband the husband to the wife and the parents to the children children to the parents we to our neighbors we to the church we to the nation we lay down our lives we live for another we build up another we bring forth life love makes us 
to lay down our life 